All right, everybody, it is time to continue minding the net. That is our, our job here. Okay, currently our brand is a dash 75. Not good. Not too concerned about it, though. And we are in, well, I, I know it says we've played games, but we haven't. Unless, you know, maybe we got tossed in because Smith was not playing up to par. And he just let in a few too many. And the coach said, yeah, go for it. But that 1-0-0 does not make any sense. So I don't know where that came from, but this is the first game I've had the option of actually playing. Well, let's view the lines and see what is going on. So we've got Kane, McDavid, and Pliarvi, Dreisaitl, Nuge, and Hyman. And then we got Yamamoto with Ryan and Fogel, Benson with Sevior, and Cassian. On defense, Keith Barry, Bouchard Clefbaum, Russell, and CC. And then in next, we've got Mike Smith with Timothy Jimothy, okay? So, and by that I mean TJ, of course. Let's do this thing. Am I going to get lit up in my first NHL game? Well, not my first NHL not preseason game, likely. But let's see. Sim game. Yep. The Golden Knights are pretty good too, so this is probably not going to go well. First period. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Second period. Okay, there it is. There it is. Found it. Well, let's jump in and at least try to have ourselves... A good third period here and maybe bounce back a little bit oh yeah I forgot I had that whole promise thing with uh, dry sidle as well that's not gonna happen unless we have the best third period of our lives it's just not in the cards but we can certainly try March or so I don't know why but these lights are like really bothering my eyes right now and I was planning on recording a few videos so yeah I'll try to get through it here let's see what happens March or so gonna rip one on the blocker it's not going to go, though. Eichel, walking out. I'll poke that away. Please win that battle. Thank you. Good job, team. McDavid up the boards. In the middle to Puyarvi. Oh, nice play. That was solid. No goal, however. Are we going to get another shot here? Stone. Oh, my word. That was scary. Thought it was going give and go, but luckily our defense were there to stop him. McDavid to Kane, who takes a shot, gets his own rebound. How did that not go in? Are you kidding me? It should be 3-1 right now. That is absurd. I see that we're still going to have the problem of the game thinking I'm someone else. Now it thinks I'm Yan Mark, so that's fun. And it's telling me to just get one. Yeah, because that's what I should be doing as a goaltender, right? It's going out there and getting one. Kane to Keith. Nice try, Keith. Goes for the shot. There were just a few too many people in the way there. But I do respect the effort. Robin is going to smother that one. And yeah, still 3-0 here, but I'm liking the way the team's playing so far. It's good stuff. Smith is in over the line, and he's going to get crunched against the boards, but Carlson wins the battle there in the corner. Luckily, Barry... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm going to pass that to you. Yeah, that works. He's wide open. Okay, Keith, let's go. Let's do this. Carries it up the ice, passes it to Leon... Nice try. Okay, all right. We're getting some good chances in here, but Robin Lenner is not being broken. The code cannot be cracked as of yet. Hyman walking out. A great pass, and that will make it 3-1. It's only a matter of time. We were all over them. So that is a huge goal. Cuts the lead down to two now in the third here. And the way the team's playing, I wouldn't be surprised if they do get two more. We could possibly push this to overtime, assuming I don't let one up. Which, again, a massive assumption. And that is something that we should not assume because I feel like it is very, very rare for that to actually happen. Nice try, Hyman. Was that supposed to be a pass or a shot? So it was kind of a bullet, but it looked like it was a pass. Anyway, I don't know who you'd be passing to. Maybe the boards trying to get a little play going there, perhaps? Good physicality. Barry cross ice to Zachary. And now Nuge is going to put the puck in deep. He is living up to his most likely intermission interview. Nice. In the middle, McDavid. Oh, good try. We can do this. I think we can come back here, actually. It's not out of the question. Golden Knights in over the line. Nice. Pin him. Win the battle. Atta boy. Stone. Carlson now has it. Oh, where'd it go? Nice. Found it. That was... Very interesting. The puck seemed to be everywhere at once right there. And defense is going to hit his own man. He's going to hit Carlson. The puck comes now in the possession of the Edmonton Oilers. And McTavid gets triple teamed. Wow. All right. Make it a little less obvious there. 
They are clearly <laughs> trying to cover him. And Clef Bomb gets it behind the net. We have a battle going on, but we come out with it cleanly. And are headed back the other way. Kane takes it wide. Goes for a pass in the middle, but Carlson will pick it off. And now the Golden Knights are in possession once again. Over the Edmonton blue line. And that turns right back over again. Here comes Eichel. He's over the line. Goes for a pass in the middle. And that shot won't get through. He's trying again, this guy. He's persistent. I'll give him that. Point shot will be denied by TJ. Into the corner now. The Golden Knights still have possession though. Petrangelo rips one from the point, And that is just wide of the net. And now Yamamoto going to carry it up and out. Some nice passing. Ryan stopping up. Goes in the middle to Yamamoto. It almost found its way in. Holy crap. That was a game of Plinko. But yeah, it was close. We almost cut it down to one. That would have been nice. Petrangelo in over the line again. To Roy. Waugh could be either or. Not sure. Dreisaitl. Nice little toe drag and a good shot. But Robin Leonard has that one in the mitt. 5-13 remaining here in the third period. And I think I've played pretty good so far. I mean, they haven't had... A ton of chances by any means, but they've had enough. And then our team as well has been getting their fair share of chances. But Robin Leonard, I mean, he is probably like, what, an 89 overall or something? Oh, nice try. If Hyman got that shot off, I think could have had a good chance of going in. Try sidle rips one. Let's go. What a shot. And he is celebrating too with everything he has. That was a lovely goal. It's down to one. Okay, five minutes to go. Only a one goal lead for the Golden Knights. What a third period so far from the Oilers. Let's go. Keep it up. We can do this. This game's going to overtime. Calling it right now. Come on, Leon. Do it again. Oh, he actually almost did. That was a good shot. But an equally great save from Robin Leonard. Dreisaitl loses it. And that'll be picked up by Marcheseau. Who goes to Stone. Rips a slap shot. TJ going to make the save on that one. And yeah, time is slowly running out here. So maybe we won't go to overtime, but I'm still hopeful. The team is playing very good here. We're getting a lot of chances. I'm kind of holding my own back here so far. Knock on wood. We'll see if that <laughs> keeps up. But yeah, it's definitely a possibility here that the Edmonton Oilers could push in overtime. And then I could make Dreisaitl a happy man. Stephenson goes for a toe drag shot there. I was trying my best to not move and make all these little panic shifts and I think I did an all right job I was still moving more than I would like to but definitely not as much as I was when I was Tino Manny so that is good that's a improvement right there let's grab that and bring it back to this side please oh no oh my word it's gonna okay I saved it at least ah why okay that's an awful time to pull me also my team play right down the toilet I just flushed it straight down straight yeah oh we actually do get this now this isn't uh you know Exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, there we go. I understand now. So we can actually view the game when I'm on the bench. This is amazing. Clefbaum picks it up. He's going to pass it up to McDavid. Come on. Oh, nice try. Stephenson is going to rip it in the empty net. That basically secures the win for the Golden Knights. So unfortunately, Leon's going to be a little upset with me. But you know what? I still think I did all right. I'm pretty sure... That with the amount of saves I've made so far in this third period, I will have a 900 save percentage because the empty net shouldn't count against me there. And yeah, that's a pretty solid first game for TJ in the NHL. Four goals against, but I mean really only three goals against. Assuming they don't absolutely rip one at the end here. Okay, I'm headed to the bench again. Let me off the ice. I never like, where is it? Is it there? It's usually near the blue line. Okay, and let's... View the overhead here. Do we take a... Yep, they got a power play. Delightful. Ten seconds left, too. If they score another one, I swear, I'm going to be very upset. All right. This draw is crucial. Don't let them get it. We let them get it. Theodore. Ah! I knew it. I absolutely knew it. I saw it coming from a mile away. As soon as we took the penalty. So, yeah, that whole 900 save percentage thing about that. That's not... Uh, it's not happening anymore. But I still think I played all right. You know what? I'll still take that performance. Let's see. How many shots did they end up with, anyway? They had 30. Yikes. Well, let's quit that game. Get me out of there real quick. And let's move on to the next. I bet you James is going to have something to say. Man, oh yep. Man, 
lot of you are fired up in this one. Uh, Brendan is in Burlington. How are you? Hey, fired up in what the way? Start that we were supposed to get off to. This is not the start our rookie was supposed to get off to. I'm, I'm starting oh, to push it. the panic button. My, my hand is at least hovering over top of it. Well, a C minus, 37 percent overall. I can understand where you're coming from. I mean, that was ugly out Now there, we got to meet with Leon. Hey, look, it's a marathon of a season, right? It's a marathon, but you can't start in last place and then expect to finish first. I mean, okay, well, tell St. Louis Blues well, that. I'll tell you what. It was a tough night for the kid between the pipes and a bit of a wake-up call for him to say, okay, uh, I need to be better, and I think he'll Easy get a couple baby. of days to work with the coaching staff and see if... <laughs> like, who's, who's helmet and glove is that? Give me early. a break. It's early. Don't panic yet, everybody. Simmer down. Simmer down. No, you know what? Panic. I would if I were you. Two, two, and one. Three, two, and one. That's a huge win there. Thank you, Mike Smith. We have the Canucks here. That's going to be another win. Good stuff. Four, two, and one. I think I want to change up the equipment a little bit. It just seems like it's not the matching colors, you know? It seems too bright. Yeah, it does not match whatsoever. So let's try to maybe swap them up a little bit. And we are now six, two, and one. We All got right, the go Rangers the here. James, zip it. They are 2-6-2, and two, which is good news for us because I'm going in against a team here that, you know, isn't doing fantastic by any standard. But it is still very early. We can't assume anything. And I am also 70 overall. So, got that against me. It looks so much different here. Like, why does it look way different? That's weird. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll... Let's go with custom. Let's Let's customize here a little bit, shall we? Remember someone, was it Brian's everyone was telling me to go with? I can't remember, actually. I think it was. People said that Brian's was good. Vaughn is good. Warrior is what I was using. And everyone's like, oh, don't use that. So I was like, okay. And um, I can't remember what I went to. Yo, Coho. That is an iconic brand. Nice. I can't even select the Edmonton Oilers colors here. That's amazing. Thank you. NHL for that. All right, not a big change, but we are now a Brian's boy. So let's see how this works. I, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. It doesn't. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. You know what? Screw that. Look good, feel good, play good. The Rangers, 2-6-2. Two, two. Did we ever meet with Leon about the disappointment? I think we did. Anyway, first period. Okay, I'll take that. 1-1 one, one, after 1. 12 shots apiece. Second. 2-2. Two, two. We are definitely out shooting them. So we need another pretty decent third period here to revive the stats, but we can do it. Mike Smith has been doing real good for us, which is nice. He got us up to 6-2-1, I believe we are at right now, when we were 2-2-1 after my game. So that is four straight wins for Mikey. Great, I'm happy for him. It's a good transition time, you know, for him to be on the out and me to be on the in. Is there going to be a scrap? Looks like, no, there will not be. But we do get a power play. We well, you know what that means. Free team play. Can't wait. I hope the Rangers win this draw. Please win that draw and just send it right down the rink. You know you want to. Yup, that's a good start. Yes, here we go. Give me that. No! Come on, Darnell. This one, this has got to be the one. This has got to be the one. Hurry up a little bit. Yes, okay, here we go. Let's make a sick... Let's not do that. Let's do it. Nope, just to you. <laughs> Play a little bit safe. Now it's going to be Bouchard's fault, I bet. I don't think the game is smart enough to realize. It's like, oh, you, yeah. You passed it. It immediately went to our guy. Great pass. I don't think they know that, you know, there's an attacker right in front of him that is about to steal it and score. If it does, I'm impressed. But I don't think it will. Bouchard picks it up behind our net. He's carrying it up. Passes to Poyarvi in the middle. Poyarvi gets it back. Oh, so close. Great try. Shesterkin is one great goaltender, though. So this is going to be a tough third period. Nice draw in by McDavid. A shot will be saved, and we are now even strength. Chris Kreider. What a year for him, by the way. I have him on my fantasy team. I've probably mentioned this before, and he is absolutely on fire this year. It's crazy. That is the most obvious offside I've ever witnessed. With my own two ocular cavities. Panarin to Lindgren who walks in. Oh! It wouldn't let me move. It literally would not let me move. He was stuck. I made the save and then he was like, oh, oh, and just would not budge. I love that for me. Thanks. Thank you. That's great. I guess I probably was too far out of the net there as well. Because, yeah, he got the shot off. It was an easy first save. But then the rebound was buried far too easy. 
So, I should have been a little bit further back, perhaps. Noted. And we took a penalty on top of that. Amazing. So they have a power play here. Hopefully we can kill it off. Adam Fox looking awfully scary back there. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, but we can do it. I believe. All right, that's a good start. Shesterkin doesn't want free team play. That's embarrassing. Um, but you know what else is embarrassing? That goal I let in, so I shouldn't be saying much. Here we go. He's in over the line. And... Okay. Yep, this is uh, just giving me big flashbacks of Tino Manny. Humongous. I mean, I didn't expect him to be able to just skate right through our defense like he didn't exist. Like, that guy was Casper the Ghost right there. It just went right through him. Unbelievable. I don't take full responsibility for that, but again, game is not smart enough to know that. So yeah, there's another four goal against game. And... Possibly more at this point. As soon as it starts happening, it's just so demotivating, like, instantly. It just deflates your tires on the spot. Capo goes for a shot. <laughs> I quit. All right. It's been fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Be A Pro series. I know it's been a long one, but uh, I think I'm going to tap out here. Okay, we give them another rush here. Panarin trying to shoot it short side. It actually lets me smother it. Thank you. I'll pass that out. I'm trying to fight for some team play here because I am certainly not going to do well in the stats category. So I'm trying to just get points wherever I can. And that is why I'm going to pass it out. <laughs> Dry Seidel gets pinned against the boards. Goes down low. Zabinijad going to spin off his guy and Kreider. I thought he was going to walk right through Dry Seidel there again. I'm going to say, like, you guys are making this far too easy. They're just waltzing right through you. Not even around you. Through you. Well, the first game we kind of did all right. This game, not so much. Again, we are 70 overall right now, which does not help our case because we're going against NHL shooters here. So it's going to be tough no matter what. But yeah, the first game was definitely a success. I would chalk it up to that. And then this one, bit of a flop, which is unfortunate. But I plan on recording another episode right after this one. So I'm going to try to... What a hit! Holy crap! He just absolutely destroyed him. I'm going to try to, yeah, hopefully go into the next one. Just let all the stuff export. And give my head a shake. Go for a quick waltz around the house. And <laughs> come back strong, hopefully. This year, because we're the backup, I'm probably just going to do the whole season. Play every game. Because we're not going to get a crazy amount, I wouldn't think. So we're not definitely not doing play one sim four because we're not getting 70 starts in the year but yeah that will come eventually but not right now right now we are the backup so it's gonna be the whole season unless we what a hit again unless we start getting a lot of starts which if we're playing like this uh-uh that's simply not gonna happen give me that team play it's all i can get right now simple pass simple pass you know let's keep it basic right now Okay. Thank you, Cassia. Didn't let a guy walk right around him. And now McDavid has it. Stops up. Walks in the middle. Takes a shot. Gets saved by Igor. And not able to get his own rebound, unfortunately. Miller with it. Has it. He cuts in the center. That will be stopped. I actually was able to smother it that time as well. Which is great. Big improvement. Nice. Cassian. If he had that, if he was able to just... One time, Hulk smashed that in the net. That was a goal. No way Igor could get over in time. We have under a minute remaining here. I'm just trying not to get scored on again. That is my current objective. I know we're not winning. Uh, okay, Goudreau almost got a shot off. And now Kravstov with it goes to the point. That will be saved. And our team is there for the rebound. Okay, here we go, Cassian. Walking in, takes a shot. And Igor will save that easily. He gave... Like, if we cross-crease that there, would have been the easiest goal of all time. So, apparently, just take the shooter and hope that the defense has the pass, which I think you're normally supposed to do anyway. But, for some reason, my defense don't know that. <laughs> they didn't learn that in hockey school. So, yeah, it's a little rough. But, anyway, although we did let in, what was it, three goals? Yeah, it was three. I still think this third period wasn't... A complete joke, okay? We did make some saves here that were pretty decent. So, yeah, I'm just trying to find the positives. 
but overall, not what you want to see. Uh, yeah, it's about that time to get roasted you know, I again. I thought it was a completely flat performance here for the squad. There it is. This one. You know, I, I just thought from the front there wasn't a lot I, I liked offensively. At least I he's chirping everyone. Game and, you know, in between the pipes, I don't feel I mean, personally the attacked. The just kind of encompassed what his season's been. Just, meh. You know, was he Probably bad? Probably two no. games. Was he good? No. Were there a couple that I would have liked back? Eh. You know, just... Kind of sums up Mikey, you got to steal one here against the Red Wings. All right, much more to come here on the show, including we'll open up the oh, yeah? phone lines. Yes, you'll get a chance to weigh in. Ray Ferraro will even join in the conversation. Okay. Well, we lost to Detroit. That's not good. We're still 6-3-1, though. So you know what? We're we're not doing that bad. The team overall is okay. We need to talk about how you've been playing. I'm giving you the star answer. You're getting a promise. I don't care. Sure. Brand-like ability going up. Maintain... Oh, ho, ho! Yeah, no shot. Sorry, you might as well just get disappointed now. Imagine this, okay? You're a coach in the NHL. You look your 17-year-old goaltender, who was apparently drafted late, according to James, in his eyeballs. And you say, over the next five games that you're in, give me a 930. You can't even request that from, like, elite goaltenders. Let alone this guy. At least we won there, so that's good. Another game against Buffalo. We had back-to-back -back games, and they still didn't put me in. St. Louis Blues are next up. 5-4-4. Four, and four. We are 8-4-1. and one. Give me that 9-4-1. and one. If, he's, back, if this everybody. is about the and promise... You know, we were talking about some of the young players who've really caught my eye so far to start this season. I'll tell you what. Don't look any further than the backyard here. And uh, in goal, I did nothing. I mean, this young goaltender has really been impressive. When you talk about best rookie so far, I mean, to sure. me, he's right near the top of the list, if not the top <laughs> of it. He has been brilliant. He's made some big saves. But you know what? I also this game's hilarious, is, man. He sometimes goes long stretches without facing a shot, and he still oh, stays do I? mentally in it. That's really hard as a young goaltender to do, but his mental focus yeah. has been right there so Absolutely. far in the early goings of his career. I'm impressed. Eight, six, All right, and one. time for a quick break. We got a lot more to get to. We'll get Come to the on. phones. I see Brianna. Nine, six, and one. Yes. Another conversation. If this is going to be about the games again, like, what do you... Brianna, he doesn't look happy. Conversation with the Hockey Hall of Famer coming up a little oh. later on. Meantime... Hey, look, locally, oh, they have I haven't been, been in, dude. Too many goals as of late, and the youngster has kind of been uh, subject of a lot of criticism right here on this show. I thought well. I was the We've best thing since sliced bread, James. What happened to that? As well, and on the phone lines, and the coaching staff clearly sees the same thing that a lot of you are seeing as well. They pulled the youngster aside and sent a direct message, I think. Yeah. Uh, prior to the skate, very direct. Say, hey, In look, fact, it was a DM. You've got to be better. We need more from you. And the idea of this goals against average, where it's kind of floating around, it's a little too bloated. Four thirty-six. Do you mean that's not ideal? Slim that down. We'll see how that message is responded to between the pipes here when we get the next. Are you done yet, James? Thank you. So yeah, we're not doing so hot. Four thirty-six you know, GAA. Okay, stop. Cut it out. Eight fifty-three save percentage. Well, some fun. Where does this guy get off? Are you kidding me? Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, not the most ideal start, but you know what? We are 70 overall, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of leeway here, a bit of slack. We played all right in our first actual game being in, and then we had that last game, which was definitely not what we're looking for, but yeah, it wasn't horrendous. Okay, let us go and see if we have anything here. Perks you can afford. Not a whole lot. All right, no, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do right now. So, yeah. Hopefully we can bounce back next video.